Well, the school district on New York's Long Island is allowing police to keep an eye on its students. They're doing this. They're installing cameras in classrooms. Now, our power panel is back. Mercedes Cowan and Deneen Borelli. So what do we think about this? Is this a, an invasion of privacy for these kids, or is it uh, really a tool for safety? Oh, a safety for sure. I mean, we've seen all these incidents of, of these of violence erupting in a classroom, and the teachers are trying to contain it. I think it's a brilliant move, and frankly, there's no reasonable expectation of privacy. You're in a public setting. You're in school. There's a public setting. It's not like these cameras are being installed in your home. So anyone out there that's arguing somehow it's an invasion of privacy, I think, are mis... But here's the thing. Uh, we have limited resources. There is a price tag for everything. So what is the cost to install these cameras? What is the cost to maintain them? I mean, we, we have budget problems now going on in our country. And for this project to be directed towards an effort that may not even occur, because they were talking about maybe a crazed gunman that is coming into the schools. I mean, you're still going to need to call the police anyway. But who's going to pay for this effort? I think it's a, a, another expense going to be burdensome to the taxpayers. But you know what's going to happen though, Danny? I think that's an excellent point, but here's the counterpoint to that. There's so much litigation that arises when there's that type of violence. I mean, the Columbine massacre was absolutely horrible. There were lawsuits that came True. out as a result. And who pays it? We do, but because these are state schools. But how do you know it will even work? I mean, they're only, it's a monitoring. And they're not going but to be, be on nonstop, right? They're, they're, they're set up so that if there is an incident in the classroom, then the teacher can automatically connect the cameras to the police station, correct? Exactly. And, and that will assist in the prosecution. I mean, now in this, in this technology age, we should be able to do that. You'll catch the perpetrators quickly. You'll certainly be able to condemn them quicker in the courtroom setting because there's no more credibility issue. I didn't throw the first punch. Well, you know what? Here's the footage. It shows well, that you threw the, the first punch. there was the recent incident on the, the city bus. I forget exactly where it was, where the, the um, people armed with guns, the men armed with guns were outside waiting and they were shooting through the city bus. Remember that just exactly. happened a couple weeks ago? And they were able, it was in Philadelphia, and they were able to use those cameras to immediately figure out exactly who did it and arrest them. Well, unless it's private funding, my concern is the states are already stretched to their limit and this is another, a, a big expense for school to, to take on. So mm -hmm. that's... And when they are cutting a lot of programs, I mean, um, right. you know, physical fitness programs being cut, uh, music education being cut, so that is a good point. But if you talk to parents, they will say, keep our children safe. I mean, if, you, if, if it means that they're not going to be in gym class or have music class, but they'll be safe in the classroom, I bet you about 90% of, of those parents will say, absolutely keep our yeah. children safe. Can't really argue with that on no. that point. Thank you very much. Thanks Thank for you. joining us, you guys. That was fun. Rick?